talk, shop, pop, movies. Oh, hey there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below on my channel. I'd like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is. Movies and physical media. And today I'm back at Best Buy. I got off work early because it was dead. So I figured I had an errand to run. I need to go to Best Buy and see the last couple of weeks of new releases. I haven't had a chance to get out. I haven't been feeling well, so on and so forth. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that came out the last couple of weeks I want to see in hand. In my hands. Like, you know, Titanic. And I want to maybe pick up that Weird Al movie. All that, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go see what they have. Here we are at the new release shelf. We have these awesome Mandalorian Steelbooks Season 1. Mandalorian Season 2. And just to change things up a bit, here's Mandalorian Season 1. Yeah, these are cool, but I don't need them. Uh, Turtles, I forgot Turtles came out. Here's this awesome Steelbook. There's only one copy left. I like it. I need to see this movie still, but I don't almost $40 blind buy like it. Even the standard is just over 30 This Gran Turismo steelbook, you know, this is something I'll watch on Netflix in two years. That's how much I care about that one. I love this American... Holy buckets! This American Graffiti steelbook is on sale for $17.99. I might need to grab this. This is my all-time favorite George Lucas movie. And what else we got here? Uh, this Twilight set. See, even the, st even the standard slipcover is more expensive than the steelbook right now. We got the Flash Steelbook, that's 20 that's not too bad of a deal. If the movie was better, I'd grab it. Alright, some more 4Ks, All Quiet on the Western Front, I love that one. $5.99 is still too expensive for Assassin's Creed in my book, but, you know, if you like it, good for you. Go buy it if you like it. And Evil Dead Rise, that's another one I'll need to grab at some point. Creepshow 4K, love Creepshow, one of my favorite anthology horrors. Here's the gorgeous Army of Darkness steelbook. That is also cheaper at Walmart, don't forget. Fat Man, I'll be talking about that one tonight on our live stream with the Collectors Club. Silent Night, Deadly Night, three pack for 12 bucks. I'm going to actually take a closer look at this Twilight set. It's actually, These are nice. Like, it, there's nothing super special about it. There's no like foam in between them, so they scratch up against each other. But, uh, you know, it's Twilight. You get a spider wrap. You get a spider wrap. You get a spider wrap. And you get a spider wrap. Yeah, we love these, don't we? This is cool, though. I didn't expect to see this in Best Buy. Mexico Macabre from Indicator. You don't see those here very often, at least as far as I know. Here's a Marvel, Pixar, Disney little standy dealie. You know, more of the same there. Nothing too special. One on the other side with even less of the same. Cool. All right, here's uh, some newer releases. Creator, the overpriced steelbook is gone. Five Nights at Freddy's, I forgot that even came out. Not that I need to pay to see that again. Uh, <laughs> Clue, make sure if you grab Clue, you check your discs, because our buddy Ken over at Mid-Level Media got uh, two Blu-ray discs, if I'm not mistaken, in his. He did not have a 4K disc. So, you know, shout factory quality control. You gotta love it. Just enough quality control to screw up every once in a while. Um, oh, Indiana Jones. Uh, there's weird. They got one left. I usually don't like to spend full price on Shout Factory titles, but I love this movie and so does my son. Okay, Office Christmas Party, new 4K. A little more than that movie's worth, but it's a it's a movie worth watching, I'd say. And then we got the standard edition Point Break for 30 bucks. No steelbooks here. Fargo's already missing some slips. I need to grab that one. It's one of my all-time favorites. Rudy, they've got a plethora of Rudy's. <laughs> Fugitive, I love that one. Naked Gun, I got the trilogy, otherwise that would be a solid pickup as well. There's the, uh, ooh, Past Lives. Here's one I need to get, especially with all that Golden Globe nomination, Critics' Choice nomination love. I do all that stuff on my channel too, if you're into that award season guff. Here's this big old Walking Dead set. I'm going to pull this thing out of here and actually try to look at it. <laughs> it's awkward. Alright, there's a spooky zombie face and uh, some broken plastic and more stuff. And it looks like it splits right down the middle in two halves here, so that's kind of cool. Pumpkinhead, beautiful steelbook. Rosemary's Baby I gotta get at some point. Swamp Thing, decent price on the Swamp Thing. I need to grab Ghoulies still while it's still available for that $23.99 price. Kick-Ass 2 steelbook is also $17.99, but too bad it's Kick-Ass 2 because that movie's horrible. Alright, these Disney 100 steelbooks. 
to all you collectors out there, that Best Buy is purging these suckers out for 10 bucks a piece. If they weren't so hideous, I would buy all of them. But if you want to, the question of does the art matter, this is, this is the question right here. And yes, it does. But if you like these things, that's a hell of a deal. 12 monkeys, good price for that one with the slip. All right, and then what's left is pretty much just more of the same stuff we've seen the last few trips here. Some 4Ks scrounging around all over the place. So the stuff, this Sonic 2-pack is cool, but I don't really want to spend 40 bucks on it when I can buy them individually for like $8 on Amazon. Lost Boys is 19 bucks. That was $9 on Amazon like yesterday, so check on there for that one. That's all we got today, so let's go see what I picked up. And we're back. Yes, um, I didn't really expect to buy much, if anything, today. <laughs> I only ended up getting two things. I could not get those Disney Steelbooks. They were a fantastic deal. If you have any interest in them whatsoever, go get those 4K Disney Steelbooks for 10 bucks a piece at your local Best Buy or check online. I don't know if they're selling them the same price there. Um, they were pretty wiped out already. They had like six of them left maybe. But between having some of them on Blu-ray already, having Disney Plus, and those things being so fucking ugly, I just couldn't make myself buy them. If it had just the standard artwork on them, I probably would have grabbed every single one of them I didn't already have. We, they like to say, you're artwork collectors and not movie collectors. It's like, I already can watch the movie anytime I want. I have it on one or more sources. In those cases, with these steelbooks, yes, it would be for the artwork. We're sad, I know. But anyways, I did grab two things, like I said. The first thing is, I couldn't pass up that awesome American Graffiti Steelbook 4K for $17.99. So it was like 12 bucks off. I almost grabbed this when it was 30 just because I like this movie so much and I love this artwork. But yeah, when I saw that for a very reasonable $17.99, which is like honestly how much these things should cost. <laughs> uh, yeah, couldn't pass it up. It's like I said, my favorite George Lucas movie ever, which he's only made like four movies. But when you put Star Wars in there and you think this one's better than Star Wars because it is, that's saying something. So yeah, come at me, Star Wars nerds. I'm one too. I'm one of you. You can't argue. Uh, there was only two copies of that left, so I'm glad I had that one. And the only other thing I grabbed was the thing I sort of went in there for. <laughs> Weird, the L. Yankovic story on 4K from Shout Factory. This was $27.99, if I remember right. More than I usually am willing to spend on any of these new releases from Shout Factory. I really like this movie. You can stream it for free on the fucking Roku channel, but who watches that shit? Uh, with ads. So... I like it enough. I like Shout Factory enough. I love Weird Al enough. And my son loves Weird Al. And we both will get a kick out of this movie. This will probably just be my Christmas gift from him. Like, I'll wrap, we'll wrap it. And my wife will pretend it's a surprise. And then I'll open it. And I'll be like, oh my god, thank you. So that's probably what this is going to end up being. Because it, it fits too perfectly. And, you know, it came with a slip and everything. I would hope so. It came out, like, what, two days ago? Yeah. it's This movie's hilarious. And it got nominated for, you know, the Emmys, the Globes, the Grammys... It needs awards. That's all I'm saying. It's it's a good comedy. One of the few actual comedies to come out this year. Or it was actually, I suppose it came out last year. Did it come out last year? It was so long ago, I can't even remember. It just took forever to come out on physical media in America, at least. But I'm glad it did. Glad it got the justice it deserves. It isn't just sitting on Roku TV. Great deal on this. Opposite hands. Great deal on this one. This, more than I would normally spend, but I wanted to grab it. It was the last copy they had. Uh, yeah, go get American Graffiti on 4K for $17.99. If you've never seen this movie and you have any interest whatsoever in older movies, this movie's from 1973. So, like, to me, it's it's, it's an older movie, but, like, I, I've been watching movies from, you know, 100 years ago, so to me it doesn't seem that old. It's a middle-aged movie, this one. But, yeah, it's a fantastic movie, a very original screenplay of its time. Hilarious, great ensemble cast. You had a little baby Ron Howard in there, Richard Dreyfus. Good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, that is what I got today. Tonight we are doing our Collector's Club, hence the shirt. Uh, holiday Movie Roundtable. So me and the Collector's Club will be going over our Christmas movie recommendations. We gave to one another, we watched them all. Now we're going to be mad at each other for making us watch them all. But yeah, check out my awards season stuff. I've done Critics' Choice, Golden Globes, Reactions. I'm going to do as much as I can up through the Oscars. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> good to get i'm glad i found something worth buying today it was nice and i'm glad i found a good deal to share to you if you didn't know about that ten dollar uh 4k steelbook purge on those god awfully ugly but still 
probably worth ten dollars disney 100th anniversary still books on that note thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time book shop pop movies